This is Too Much Information with Tai Ngashira. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to TMI. As promised, tonight we talk to an Obama fellow, a cherished agent of democratic change, good governance, and constitutionalism. I had to practice that word before I... <laughs> now, give it up for the lady whose Twitter bio answers the question, what if you did more for your motherland? I think she would write, in high school, Nimimi Wako. <laughs> the executive director, Siasa Place, Nerima Wako, everybody! <laughs> Thank you very much, Nerima. Uh, before we start, uh -huh. um, how did you get into the governance space? How did you... Was it something you were passionate about? Mm. What, <laughs> what happened? You became a governance expert. Actually, it was by mistake. Oh, wow. Um, I wanted to do medicine. I wanted to a doctor. And then I went and did bio. I was like, I'm So that's when I started doing uh, journalism. Uh, okay. So my background is in journalism. Wow. Um, wow. But I have never practiced it, basically. Okay. Uh, but then now, using my social media, I yes. used to talk a lot about national issues. And we were doing it with uh, some friends who were okay. about seven of us. Wow. And that's how Siasa Place was born. Okay, now, speaking of Siasa Place, why is Siasa Place? You know, some people think Siasa is, uh, you know. I know. So why Siasa Place? Because so the reason why we called ourselves Siasa is because a lot of people were on their Siasa when I chu Yes. So how corrupt our leaders are. But it's a lot more than that. Uh, we wanted youth to question the politics that's happening in our country. Yes. Because politics is about resources, who's getting it, how mm. they are getting it, and where. So if the youth understand that, yeah. especially Wakiele Wakatiba, yes. it's such a powerful platform. Okay. So that's why we call ourselves Siasa. Wow. So that we engage with the budget. Okay. The budgets in our counties, because you cannot do anything without resources. Okay, wow. wow. Yeah. Speaking of, you mentioned youth. And you still talk about, about youth and women engaging in Siasa, right? right? And so we, we ask ourselves, like, IBC has not met its, like, voter quota. Mm. Why and what do you think this, the impact of this will be? Uh, for a number of reasons. Actually, mm. I sit on the Youth Coordinating Committee to IBC. Oh, wow. And um, they asked us to help support yes. in terms of yes. getting young people to get out and vote. But sana sana says it on our side on our social media. Okay. So we're going to start doing voter education. Yeah. But the reasons are uh, youth don't trust IBC. And uh, and we've even told Chair yes. uh Chair Bukati. Yes. By the way, youth wanna uliza to this day. Uh, to this day. Yeah. And <laughs> even Siko France somewhere. Eh, Siko France, by the way, <laughs> he was like, by the way, kuna a third party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we normally do a call, uh -huh. and it's a different company that normally does that process of elections. So, okay. what do they do? They're not so doing elections? No, <laughs> 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 it's, it's the transfer okay. of, of information where Kenyans don't trust. Ah, okay. But you know, when we're doing the election, to Kisimamapo kwa polling station, the agents, the time they're announcing, yeah. Kenyans trust that part. Yes. But the time it's being transferred, uh, CG when and bombers, CG it's the national tallying. Yeah. That's where Kenyans wako hapa, kuna shida hapa. Okay. And so there were issues because of the security breaches that occurred okay. um, in terms of who can log in. Yeah. But the youth are also fed up. When on, uh, the same leaders coming to ask for presidency, um, the same people, and Atakama Nikipigakura, it is the same results. What's the point? So a lot of youth are disappointed. Wow. Wow. And a lot of them have come out and said, you know, Nerima, what is the point? Yeah. Um, but I feel that uh, it's worrying okay. um, because we cannot continue in that trajectory. Yeah. Um, but I think that IBC is still trying to find ways to get to young people. Okay. Mm. Now, a young person is watching this, right? Yes. Siasa Place focuses a lot on county governments. Yes. On, is, it, are we, is it that we want to make politics more local or... Is, 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 it the, is that where you're heading, where you're telling us, engage your county government first before you engage national government? Mm. Why did you target county government specifically? Kabisa, because county governments hold a lot of power. Yeah. The things that we don't realize, when I to Akisema, it's better to know your MCA and your MP yeah. uh, rather than your governor, ama even the president. Yes. Ju, 
they deal with the issues that are around you in the community. Yes. But county government is important because so many important things are devolved. Ukiongea yes. juya health, it's yes. devolved. Ukiongea juya agriculture, which is access to food, it is devolved. Yes. And this is where most youth, 68% of our population, yeah. is in rural areas. Yes. So you have to be involved with the county government if okay. you want to have access yeah. to your basic needs. So we do localize it in terms of Tukingia County, like we do a lot of work in Kiricho. Um, my team is actually on the way back from Migori, okay. they were in Wasingishu, okay. and they are traveling today. So we do a lot of work outside Nairobi, oh, okay. and we've managed to have youth push for up to 30 million shillings to be in the county budget, okay. specific to youth programs. Wow, wow. Yeah. Um, speaking of Kiricho, and uh, Kiricho ngajulikana juya chai, <laughs> And our political culture is always that nipatia kachai kangu and sota ye. So there's that culture of tokenism and handouts. How are you, and it's really big on, on how youth engage with governance. Mm -hmm. So how are you guys trying to like just beat that culture into one that's more accountable? By the way, that culture, inatuma sana. Because yeah. even when I speak to a lot of senior politicians, they yeah. tell me, Nerima, the problem with youth, you don't have money. Yeah. And the way our elections are going, this is the most expensive election we have ever seen. For and who? for politicians, yeah. because the fact that we don't have a campaign finance act, we don't have a cap okay. right now, yeah. people are spending up to the billions. Wow. Yes. Yeah. For a member of parliament alone, minimum 10 million. And it's not uh, a must you get, just to run. To run. Yeah. To run. So that basically means that youth won't have the resources to run. Yeah. And so as much as youth are utilizing these resources, because you know, Kusema Ukweli, Vitu Ningumu, I mean, I mean, ata kununua mafuta. I'm just like, I'm debating, is it that important? You know? Stay, stay ashy, we, stay ashy, stay like it's... I know, <laughs> ama mafuta ya kupika, I'm just yeah. like, hmm, can I go around it and kuchemsha kila kitu? But things okay. are expensive. Okay. And so I understand okay. why people would request or demand yeah. for that sort of resources. Okay. But we're telling youth, you know, think of the larger picture. Okay. As much as right now yeah. everyone is dishing out money, yeah. you have to think about the person yeah. who will be able to bring results in your community. Okay. So me, I don't normally say, me okay. by the way, I can't. Okay. I don't okay. understand people's situation at the time. Uh. But when it comes to selecting, yeah make a wise decision on okay. who you select, not based on who yeah. gave you the most. Okay. So the, the thing is, earlier today we talked about wash wash. The, the whole okay. money laundering thing around all. So like, mm. do you know the guys? Okay. Me, before you me, answer, me, before, uh, before, uh, before you answer, do you know the guys? Ask that question again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you mean, do I know, know yeah. how? Yeah. On Kwa Gazeti, uh, I'm, like, uh, I'm, just say, I'm just saying, <laughs> some people, not me, would use a connect, you know. <laughs> but I'm saying, no, but, no, but I'm, I'm saying, do you uh -huh. think the whole... Uh, is is wash wash like that being used yeah. to like do campaign finance? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah you sound like you are there planning hey. with them. <laughs> <laughs> wash wash eco. It is very alive and well. Okay. And it hurts me because yeah. I'm seeing it's the youth who are suffering. Wale wana ingia independent size yes. because guys have bought tickets in their parties. Ah. Okay. party wa direct. What's the average cost of a of a party ticket? Okay, so I know someone, yeah. Nairobi, yeah. who paid two milli. Okay. But as of now, yeah. I just your certificate. Not yet. And for which position? MP. For MP? Nabado mm Japata. -hmm. Okay, I feel uh, I think I should take my money elsewhere. My small small. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's small, small man. That's three Kamulu Joskas <laughs> just to <laughs> take it together. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Finally, um, what are you asking youth to look out for with regard to their mm. political players? Like, mm. what do I look for in a person? Because Machang is saying, uh, until they're charged, we really can't do anything about I it. Know. Yeah, so like, the bar is being lowered every mm. single time. As a youth, what, what should I look forward to? I'm going to look for before I vote to say, this is a person who I think is integrity and accountable. Because you just tell me, if I'm not arrested, then see ya kondani. Yes. For the youth, for me, I'm saying Angalia Sarah. I mean, look at people's records. Yes. Um, because at the end of the day, people will come and promise you things. Yes. And this is also the time you find out people actually live in your community. Ah. Watu wanasema, eh, Sisi kama wanainchi tumekuja hapa. Tumekuja hapa. Yes. But you have never seen this person. Yeah. They have never been involved in any community projects or even present in the community. Yeah. So ask the hard questions. Kwa sababu sa zingina na wana... kwa matanga. <laughs> 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 I'd 
community Thank. projects ni gani bali no even just volunteering <laughs> Even just volunteering, okay. I'm a, just someone who understands the needs of the community. Okay. Because we have a lot of, um, I call them teleporting politicians. Okay. They will come to the community for the votes. Yeah. And those ones who came in, as soon as they receive those votes, they are out. They'll okay. disappear the way they came. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's what's important. Okay. Now, let me take you back. At least during your introduction, you said you're an Obama fellow, right? Mm. What's that? Like, I was like, is it a... Is it, a, is it Nerima Wako Obama? Like, why? How do you become an Obama <laughs> fellow and where does one apply Man, for these things? Obama is an amazing person. Okay. Like, um, we got to meet him. So, Ooh, just throwing I mean, it in there. Let me just throw know. it in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, let me just throw it. <laughs> Man, but uh, so Obama Fellowship, yeah. um, it's a cohort. So, uh, every year they cohort. have. Cohort. <laughs> I've learned a new word today. <laughs> <laughs> so, every year. They have new fellows yes. uh, from Africa. Yeah. So they select up to 30 to 50 young people, yeah. sometimes up to 100. Yes. And they are taken through a program. Yeah. And in that program, you're basically given some of the tools as to how to be a better African leader. Ah, because okay. his vision yeah. is if you're an Obama fellow, yeah. you're going to eventually be in leadership of your country. Mm, okay. And you need to have a better vision for your country. Okay. And so he pushes for yeah. partnership um, with youth from other African countries. And so I was in the first cohort, oh, actually. Okay. So yeah. Nerima for president, Mokagani. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know if you expect her to be a leader. <laughs> See, you can be a leader anywhere, by the way. Oh, okay, okay. So, Lazima, you were siasa. So, why wouldn't you want to run for political because, office? Because, okay, so my husband is running for member of parliament. Ah, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, ni meona. Okay. Hey, I am seeing. <laughs> 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 um, but I'm supporting. Okay. And also, I am supporting a lot, a lot of youth who are vying. Um, okay. Sometimes I get a lot of calls. I've helped some with tribunals, with cases. So, siyasa siyo ya watu wenye wanaogopa very easily. Okay. It's very difficult. Okay. Um, but I'm more of a technocrat. Okay. Makes so, sense. I know about policies. I know about how it should be implemented. Yeah. I know the stats and how to make things work. Wow. I'm not um, a person who's... <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 I would be so tired. And then the way they like to dance on stage. I, I, you know your I husband is running and he's watching. By the way, he's good at that. Okay. Me, okay. I am not. Yeah, okay. I am not. Okay, finally, finally. Um, the youth in our country are watching. All the people are watching. What's your parting shot with regard to governance and this coming election? So, <laughs> my parting shot would be, please, 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 don't sit in the sidelines. Be involved now because the way our country is going, by the way, it's us who is going to deal with that drama. Beleni, tena is it was a corruption, ufisadi. It's a big issue. We have so much debt. I don't think youth understand each one of us owes a hundred thousand shillings in debt. As soon as you breathe life, as soon as you're born, your debt is a hundred thousand shillings. And in our endelea kupanda. So as you see all these roads being built up, just know it is you paying. So just make sure you have the right people in power to make sure they're using that money well. But you cannot do it by sitting on the sidelines and by keeping quiet. You have to engage. You have wow. to. You have no choice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nerima Wako! <laughs> Till next week! <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I had such a good time. You know, I feel like I'm such a serious stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.